Hey guys, so this is a tutorial on um, contouring and this is like extreme contouring. This is not for every day. Like an event that you're going to be getting your picture taken. Um, this is what I would do that for. But if you if you want to do it every day, by all means, you go girl. Um, it just takes a whole lot of time. And when you're first starting to do it, it, it does take patience. Um, because you have to blend a whole lot. Um, but let's jump right into the video. So first and foremost, you want to start off by having a clean face. Um, I, I really suggest using something that is going to be good for your skin, whether you have acne or you're sensitive or you want something anti-aging. Then I would prime the face to keep your foundation on longer. I have really been loving the um, Benefit Triple Performing Moisturizer. Then I'm going to go in with my uh, MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I'm really trying to get rid of this foundation. I would normally use um, Benefit Hello Flawless because that really is my favorite. And I like to apply this to the back of my hand. If I didn't mention you need clean hands, you need clean hands. I'm going to go in with my really dirty Sigma F80. just looks like this, flat kabuki. I just like to dab around and then um, apply to the face. And a lot of people like swap like this or do circular motions like this. But that really irritates my acne, so I just like to... Um, just kind of press it into the skin. I just want to press all over. And you just really want a um, a really light layer because we are going to be putting so many products that you don't want it to get heavy. So I just like to blend onto the neck, which this foundation really causes me to break out so that's essentially why I'm trying to get rid of it that I don't just want to put a road away because it's 30 bucks and then I just kind of buff it into the hairline and I just like um, to keep patting until the product kind of dries because that's going to help to kind of soak up any extra as well as blend out like any lines or like bristle marks kind of like right here and I did just apply a second layer just give a little more coverage because I'm all about that full coverage hashtag cake face so then I'm going with my MAC Pro Longwear um, concealer this is almost out as you can see so that's why I'm using it I just like to kind of place it where I want it in the triangle formation so then I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender actually this is not the beauty blender this is the real techniques sponge so I'm just going in with that it is a little damp as you can see well I don't know you probably can't but I'm just blending that out. So I'm just gradually going closer to the lash line with the little point and blending it out all over my face just to make sure that I'm getting any extra product. So next I'm going in with my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. This is in the shade Light. Flat brush right here is the Concealer F75 by Sigma. So I'm just going to take this first shade right here. And I'm going to go from the top of my ear towards my mouth. So in this area we're going to draw a line like so. And then smooth back your baby hairs. And we're going to do... A little bit around the forehead like so and just a little more here because uh why not and then i'm gonna do a little down here really lightly 
um, uh, whip your hair back and forth and do the other side. And then I like to get it on the very tip of my brush and go right down the sides of my nose like so and just kind of come in like this. So Just so Billy Bob thinks that you really have a straight nose when you don't. Okay, so then you're going to do the same thing on this side. Doesn't matter how you place it, as long as you place it. And I just like to get like all around my hairline. Like that. Then go to this side. Oh, camouflage that bump. And underneath the lip. Then I'm going back with this. Um... F65 large concealer brush and I'm going to take this uh, little banana shade right here so here and I'm also not placing this right underneath the lower light or right underneath the eye because um, this is really thick and creamy and it can crease so and then down the center of the nose, right above the lip, chin, forehead, and these are the areas that you just want to be more bright and you want to kind of stand out. So then I just like to do whatever's left over on like the back side of my jaw right there. This works really good with the um, sponge because it helps to soak up any extra product and it literally does the blending for you so you don't have to work a whole lot. So I just like to blend out the highlights first. Now whenever you're, you're doing the under eye area like I said, don't go all the way to the lash line because when you blend it out, you will be able to go up to that. You'll be able to drag the product up instead of placing it there because you don't want a whole lot to make the under eye really thick and creasy. So, just keep blending between the eyebrows. And then you're going to go on to the contour. Okay, so after you've got that really blended, I mean, you just want to pounce really hard on your face. I just like to go through and just make sure, especially on this jawline, girl. Because the other day, I didn't blend up my contour too good. So, and that's just how you do it. See, my under eyes are starting to crease already. So then you want to go in with um, your translucent powder. I'm just going to use this banana shade from NYX Cosmetics and I'm just getting that really heavy on sponge and I'm going right up against the under eyes and I'm going to do it in a um, triangle. But everywhere that I highlighted, I'm going to put this powder. So it's going to be super bright, like this, and then underneath my contour, like so, and then down the center of the nose, and also this is going to set, um, especially like your T-zone area, this is going to set and make sure that uh, your makeup don't come off. So you really just want to cake it on there, honestly. The more the merrier. 
I mean, you want to look like you got the flour on your face because we're baking. Oh gosh, I think I put too much powder. Oh, you just let that sit for um, 10 to 15 minutes, they say. Oh, I didn't blend that out right there. I forget, girls. So then I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder because I'm trying to get rid of it too. This is NC15. And then I'm going to take my large um, F20 brush by the Sigmas. Swirl it around all in here. Make sure you use it all up. Don't tap off the extra. And then I'm just going to go in and just kind of set everything, um, everything else that I didn't set the... Um, translucent powder with. Because this is going to help your contour blend smoother. So after that, I'm going to take Hoola. It's my favorite bronzer, as you can see. And this is the Sigma Tapered Face F25. And I just get it on the very tip like that. I like to look like this. That way I can see the darkness right there. So. Just blend. Just, just keep blending. You really don't need a whole lot of this, um, and that's what I love about it because it can last, it's, mine is less me over a year. Because you don't need a lot. Girl, look at that contour. I like to go on my jawline, and I like to just blend this down my neck, too. I mean, essentially, it's going to make my neck look dark, or, you know, my makeup look darker than my neck, but I just don't care, okay? Because that's just me. I just don't care. I do what I want. Get some. Talk crap. Hashtag cake face. I mean, I really don't care, because it's going to look like... I've been to the beach, girl, and you've been sitting at um, Antarctica. And then, of course, you're going to set the under the lip. I'm going to take this large fluff E50. Take a little bit, of, a little bit. I mean, like, that's probably too much. And you're going to go and set your contour on your nose. I just like to really blend it out because sometimes you can get too harsh onto the nose contour. And then I just like to set it down here for real techniques. Setting a brush. That's what that's what this is. And just kind of sweep off. Just just really lightly. all that just really lightly sweep off all this highlight or I mean I mean the, the flower the flower that we used so just keep in mind we're baking a cake you just want to sweep off all that flower now this is not going to work good for your skin if you're dry because using that much powder is going to um enhance the flakiness and you really don't want that so I wouldn't recommend this for number one myself because I got the acne and when it's like drying out powder just attaches to it and then what do I like to do oh yeah I like to just go in with my bronzer brush again and just kind of 
blend with everything. And no, no more bronzer, okay? No more bronzer. Oh, and for my bronzer, I like to use a matte bronzer, um, especially to contour with, because that's going to give you like your natural shadows instead of being all glittery and stuff. BH Cosmetics. I don't know. It's just a blush brush. I got it in a little kit one time. And this is the ColourPop. Uh, between the sheets, Super Shock. I just spit everywhere. Super Shock Cheek Matte Blush. I just like to start in the outer part of my eye and work my way to my hairline. And then just kind of smile. And put it on like your apples. But I don't like to put mine right on my apples because I don't like it on myself. Then I'm going to take Girl Meets Pearl. This is a liquid or a cream highlight whichever you prefer this is really cold so you just tap it just tap 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 it in tap 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 a room ain't that what this is tip of your nose cupid's bow like we want those lips to look big other side ooh i just got that on my hair Highlighting helps to bring things forward and kind of bring it out. Contouring kind of puts things back in like, you know, where they should be. A double chin, put your bronzer there. That's going to help to hide it. Um, it gives you more structured cheekbones, slimmer nose, smaller forehead. It's really not a lot of makeup. I mean, you can, you can see, like, you still can see the texture in my skin. Like, it's not just one even layer, and I mean, it's not just like even, my foundation's not even with my texture of my acne, so you can still see it. Like, it's just, the color is fixed. Okay, so as you, as you see, this is what it looks like finished. Let me just zoom in. So this is what I look like, come on, focus, baby. There we go. So... This is my highlight on fleek. Ooh, don't look at my nails. So, just let me know what you want to see in the comment section. Um, I will have everything listed that I've used below in the brushes. And if you have any more questions about anything, please feel free to ask me. I will definitely answer you. Um, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Uh, Brittany Witt, M-U-A. But I will see you guys in the next video.